Hello guys, it is Goku with a special story time video for all of you. Or better yet, this is the voice behind Goku. Um, so this is something I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to do a story time video where I would explain how I got started on this channel. And I always wanted to segue I always wanted to segue it into different parts. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and tell my story over the course of a few stories. And if it gets a good reception, if it gets a good response from you guys, I'll do more. But this is just to test things out to see if you guys like these story time videos or not. I'm just trying something new on the channel. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be telling you how I got started from my humble beginnings, so to speak, on how I went from just a kid watching YouTube videos and anime to this. Um, I'll try not to be as cringy as possible, but just bear with me. All right, so let's start in the beginning. We're gonna go back to the very beginning. Um, so how I first got started was way back when I got my channel back in 2010. I want to say I was in middle school, 8th grade roughly at this time, and I had just um, reunited with one of my best friends in the world. You guys know him as Mizbin. He's on the Discord, guys. I'm sure many of you have seen him. That's one of my best friends, childhood friends growing up, and he had a YouTube channel called uh, Twins of Sanity. It was a play on Twins of, Twins of Sanity, um, or... Insanity, okay, it was from the Crash Bandicoot series. That's all I really knew about it. And he didn't really want his channel anymore, so he kind of just passed it off to me. Now, at this time, I had been watching YouTube videos since the beginning, since it came out in 2005, so very familiar with YouTube at this point. Never in my life I thought I'd ever make a YouTube channel. Like, ever. I had no aspirations for it. I was just content watching YouTube videos and anime and was focused on school. So I never really had any aspirations to make a YouTube channel. You know, I was a kid at this point. But I did want to do wrestling videos. Like, I was really big into wrestling, guys. I was a huge, still am a huge wrestling fan. And I thought maybe I'll do that. You know, like, build stuff. I would watch, like, backyard wrestling videos and stuff. And lots of stuff on YouTube. But I never was able to do it because you know life kind of gets in the way i had school i was hanging out with all my friends and i was shy ultimately that plays a role into why i never really did a youtube channel was just how shy i was and how very unenthusiastic about making a youtube channel because you know i think everybody has that aspiration of they're going to fail what do people think are they going to like them or you know whatever and for the longest time, that played a role in my psyche of never wanting to make a YouTube channel. But nevertheless, Mizbin gave me his channel to do whatever I want with it. Um, he had made YouTube channels on there. And <laughs> they were a bit cringy. But at least, like I said, he had the balls to actually do it. And he didn't care. Like, I wish I could show you guys. It was crazy. Because they were still on the channel. I, I never deleted them. I, I kept it on the channel. But the channel no longer exists, so... Unfortunately, I can't show you that, but anywho, so for the longest time I would have this channel and I would mainly just use it to watch videos because I never even made an account. I never signed in, never knew how, but I digress. Fast forward to roughly 2014, you know, I'm uh, about to get out of high school soon and I'm thinking about what I want to do with my life and uh, YouTube came up again. And I was thinking, yeah, maybe I should try that YouTube thing. And uh, I got cold feet. <laughs> I ended up getting cold feet, and I, I wanted to try it, but I ended up getting cold feet because I was like, you know, it's, yeah, I just, I'm about to graduate. I should probably just enjoy myself. And I had to wait. I allowed myself to wait two years before I did anything because I was trying to focus on other things, getting a job, hanging out with friends. And I kind of say my friends took up the majority of my time, honestly, hanging out with them. Uh, anime, um, and just a whole bunch of things. I had to take care of my pets at the time. So 
yeah, two years that went by from 2014 to 2016 where I wanted to make a channel, but I just let things get by. And, and like I said, it was also because I was just too shy. Then I heard about the apocalypse coming in and just YouTubers just losing money. Because I, I did want to make YouTube a job, too. I didn't want to just go in, you know, without a plan. And I wanted to make YouTube my full-time job as well. But now I hear that the apocalypse was happening and people were just suffering. And that really killed any motivation I had to wanting to make a YouTube channel. I was just in a rut. And I don't know. I just... It just killed a lot of the motivation I had going in because I was going to get started in 2016 and I had this whole idea of how I was going to do it I was going to try and be a Star Wars channel and it just didn't pan out in 2016 I got a cold feet and I really didn't know what I was going to do because I was looking for jobs online and thinking about what I wanted to do I tried to be an affiliate marketer but I had no traction people didn't know me so that was really hard um, I tried all sorts of things online and it just wasn't working out so it was really do or die by next year 2017 was a very interesting year because by that point a lot of my friends were working and they were doing other things because by this point you know I'm an adult now and you have to start making choices in life about what you're gonna do with it while you're still young and it was just this nagging feeling in the back of my head that I need to do something now while I'm still young enough to uh, make these decisions because I might regret it later on in life so I told myself in 2017 this is what I'm gonna do and by that point my friends had moved on and were doing other things um, I was in a whole different space mentally like mentally I just wanted to do something and I didn't care um, I was watching people like CL, Gurr, uh, Divine Malzar, Boma Bunny I believe Devil Artemis at the time was there too uh, SSJ, 9K and a few others as well and I decided I was gonna do it. I was gonna finally make a YouTube channel. I remember Misman had gave me his old account, which I was using to watch videos because I would always watch YouTube videos when I was feeling down or watch anime or wrestling. So I said, fine, I'm going to do it. I had no idea what I was getting myself into, so I didn't want to go in stupid. I made sure to educate myself uh, whenever possible, watching many, many YouTube videos on how to get one started. Um, what do you need? And I didn't have any equipment, guys. I had nothing. I didn't have a microphone to my name. I had a small, I think I still have it. I have a small laptop. It was an Acer computer that I got back in 2014, no less. And it's 2017, so this thing was three years old at this point and not in the best shape. It was not the best. And some of you guys remember when I started, you know, for those of you guys who are old enough to remember when I got started and were and stuck around <laughs> when I got started you guys remember how bad my quality was so it was not the best and um, <laughs> um, but I didn't care I said I was gonna do it and this is what I wanted to do and I wasn't gonna let anything stop me so I got started with a little Acer computer and yeah that's how uh, the Twins of Sanity page was born. I was watching reaction videos long before it was popular. Long before it was like a popular thing to do. So I really wanted to do that. I loved um, channels, the DBZ community that was doing it. But at the same time, I didn't want to go into it just yet. So I held off on it. So I wanted to become a Star Wars channel first. So that's what I did first. I became a Star Wars channel and started making comic dubs because I really love Star Wars. Uh, um, Crate Dragon Films was, I think, the best in that craft at the, in that space at the time. I don't know if they're still doing it now, um, but I was really inspired by them, so I kept making dubs of that. And it was very interesting. You know, I was doing pretty well. 
I would I went on to Cast Call Club. I got organized. I had all these cool voice actors who was interested, and we made those comic dubs, which is still on the channel. And I took very good pride in that because it took me three weeks to make those guys. From editing to cutting the panels up, finding the music, it took me a while. And also having to wait on the voice actors turning their lines. That's why it took so long as well. Um, so I take very good pride in that. And it was very, very interesting. And it was a good learning curve for me to getting in the group of doing YouTube videos. And I did that for a whole year. Well, maybe 10 months. We'll go, we'll still 10 months. I'm going to say a year. 10 months at best before I started transitioning. And, uh, and doing that and getting in the groove of that is what helped lead me to a YouTuber that would, uh, later become one of my best friends. And that YouTuber would be Little Monster VA. And I think we'll stop it here for now because that's a whole video in itself. So uh, yeah, that's my humble beginnings of how I got started. Um, there's a little bit more to it, but I wanted to condense this video as much as possible. So I'm going to cut it there. If you guys want more story times, let me know. Um, if you can do me a big favor, hit that thumbs up. It really helps support the channel. It shows me that you liked the video. Uh, comment down below if you want me to continue this. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, yeah, I will see you all in the next story time video. Hopefully, if you enjoyed this. All right, guys. Um, take care. And as always, I will see you all next time. Take care. Bye-bye. We are here.